Hello and welcome. Well, as you can see by the graphic at the beginning of the video, Nicaragua at War, we will be coming, covering some topics that will explain to you and show you how Nicaragua is currently at war and will be escalating soon. The Typically, if you look at military history or history in general over the years prior to a full-blown war, usually there are certain things in place such as arresting opposition, uh, denying clergy entry into the country or expelling clergy from the country and imprisoning them, in addition to not allowing d diplomats or expelling diplomats out of a country, and of course um, arresting the citizens and making them disappear. Um, all of that has been occurring and in addition to that, the Nicaraguan government has requested and allowed for the Russian police and military to conduct exercises within the country. And one must ask, why, does, why do they do that? Uh, Nicaragua has a very strong military. You can see them on every corner with their AK-47s. Um, and one can only imagine it is a backup plan for them if and when they decide to launch a full-scale war against their own people. And you also must ask, is the CIA here? Is the U.S. government already infiltrated the, gov the government of, of the Sandinistas here in Nicaragua? I would guess so. That would be my bet. So, is Nicaragua war? Most definitely. Are they full-blown assault against the people yet? No. Is it going that way? Clearly. I do not believe that Daniel Ortega will surrender his rights and all of a sudden become a... Uh, very nice guy and allow everyone to have the freedom that they deserve and one must ask why would you come to a country under such circumstances uh, this is country is no different than Cuba or Venezuela and it's definitely heading in a worse direction it is not going in a positive direction matter of fact I have three friends that have basically left their properties here and gone back to the United States. I have two other friends that had their properties broken into and a lot of their electronics cameras stolen. I knew two people that were held up by machete while walking home on the streets. So crime is increasing, uh, violent crime is increasing, the government is increasing. There is nothing good in Nicaragua that is happening in spite of what some vloggers may lead you to believe. That is not the case. They have a vested interest in making things look like a fairy tale. It is not a fairy tale. People are getting poor. They are getting desperate. They are getting angry. The government is getting angry. It's a, a powder keg waiting to explode. So my advice to anyone considering coming to Nicaragua, don't. Get to another safe haven. This is not a place you want to invest in. It is not a place you want to vacation in. It is not a place you want to visit at all. You're putting yourself and your family at risk. Don't believe what I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and put various links below so you can look at the news articles yourself and get a better idea of what the real picture of is here. I'm boots on the ground. I've been here several years. I'm ready to leave soon, making final preparations now. But I just wanted to alert the people out there. Do not come to Nicaragua. This is not a safe place to be right now. Okay? Take a look at the links below. Get a better insight. Don't listen to vloggers. They will not tell you the truth. Peace, love, and stay safe.